Hey guys, welcome back to Bunny Basics and part two of my pet vlog. If you missed part one, it will be linked up in the cards above right now. But otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, so since Story's cage is still a little bit damp, I like to wipe down the bars because it makes it much easier to clean when it's a little bit damp. So I'll just go around and do the mucky bits right now. I'm just going to do a quick clean of Dory's catch tray from her cage. Unfortunately, I left it on the ground for food, so now it has ants in it, so I'm pretty much going to have to get rid of probably the whole lot. Usually I spot clean, well not really spot clean, I take out all the food remnants that she leaves here. She poops mostly in this area, and then most of it over here I can generally reuse, and I take the old stuff and move it to where she makes the most mess. So then it's constantly cycled through, but I may take out all of it today. Let's see how it goes. I've already taken out the main part of the food mess because I wanted to get rid of the worst of the ants straight away. is molting so here's a lovely feather. I may keep that. I keep, I sweep this side, spray it with vinegar water, and let it sit for a minute, wipe it down. I might actually do a proper video on this one day, so I might just fast forward through this but for the vlog, but we'll see what happens. something I do every three to four days usually every four days depending if it's a bit warmer um, temperature I will tend to do it more often because all the poop and food goes yuck quicker uh, but now I just sift out any large pieces that might might still be in there any bits of poop gross food Now this litter that I'm using is not wood shavings, it's actually like horse stall bedding, like the wood pellet litter, as it's designed to be used, which is soaked with water and then allowed to expand and dry. So I really, really love it for Dory's cage. 
I bird poo stinks to be honest and my nose is quite sensitive but I find with the wood pellet litter it can go longer than a day without me going good god what's that smell which normally I cannot stand smell And the stuff that's already like a little bit dirty that's been in her cage, it's not dirty but it's used, um, I put over this side where I know it's going to get thrown out next week or next time I change. So I filled up my memory card with <laughs> vlogs footage, but Dory's tr catch tray is all clean and ready to go back in her cage after I've taken it inside. So I've actually vacuumed inside already, so I can just, and cleaned behind where Dory's cage is kept, so I can just wheel her straight back in. So I'm gonna do that now. Ew, did I put the wheel through poo? That would be really unpleasant. I think I put the wheel through poo. That's unfortunate. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the rug I keep in the bunny's pen. Um, I have to use it outside to wheel Dory's cage out because there's gravel and I can't get the cage to move on the gravel. So now it's got bird poo on it, so I've got to hose it off and let it dry in the sun until it's dry and I can bring it back inside. So while that rug's drying, which is going to take a while, the bunny's cage is in desperate need of a clean. There's hay everywhere, there's poops everywhere, and the upstairs fleece is filthy because Luna's still dribbling a little bit of sequel stuff, but only upstairs. So I'm just going to get into that. I'm going to set up their playpen, even though their rug isn't out, so they can come out and hang out if they want.
up bunny poops with your bare hands. Just a fact of life when you have rabbits. Right, Apollo? This is one week of fur on this fleece. They're both going through a really crazy molt. So, excuse me. Good boy. Staining on the fleece here is from Luna's is from Luna's stomach issues. She's she's gotten better. Like she's not leaving malformed sequels anymore, but she still leaves this staining juice stuff, I suppose, upstairs. And even on the hay only diet, even though she got better, that didn't stop. So I suspect it's just I don't know. Something she does, for whatever reason, I'll have to speak to my vet about it next time I'm at the vet. But she's not, as far as I can tell, she's not unwell. I might perhaps try a probiotic or something with her. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. You guys are making life very difficult, hmm? Huh? Yeah. All right. Electricity. Um, I've lost the vinegar and water. Here we are. Now upstairs, I always put a plain fleece instead of a pattern fleece because they chew on the upstairs fleece, but they don't chew on fleece downstairs. So I prefer to have the pattern fleece not getting chewed on. This one is very well loved. Hey, stuck behind my grids. It's annoying, but 
It's really not a huge problem. It's not like it's dirty or anything. On a day to day basis, I usually sweep up like the hay and poops that are sort of sit around the hay rack and the litter tray. And then I sort of only sweep the whole cage once a week, depending on if it's, you know, unless it needs it. But hay isn't dirty and it's just messy. Sorry, I've got a face full of flyaway bunny fur. So that is the bunny cage, all done. Dory's cage is all done, I just need to give her some new branches. And I'm just going to wait for the rug to dry so I can put it back in the room. But I think that's pretty much all the pet stuff done for the day. Apart from meals and that sort of thing. So if you've been watching this and managed to make it all the way through to the very end of this video, congratulations, that's amazing. I can't believe you've watched this whole vlog. Um, thank you for watching. It's sort of been fun documenting what I've been doing. As you can see, it's... <laughs> yeah, Dory. It takes quite a bit of time just to wheel Dory in and out and clean up the bunny area around that because I have to disassemble the pen. But once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like or subscribe. Leave a comment if you've got any questions or just want to say, oh my gosh, cute bunnies, that's great too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.